aka Danis Stories, aka Danis Cole. Why so many names? Well, anything Danis Stories has to do with my blog, my Twitter account, my writing young adult science fiction. So that's that hat. Okay. Anything with Adiamea on it is my gaming self. And Granny Handicap is my stream for handicapped gamers. But it is a, I'm gathering a community together of handicapped people and those who want to learn about handicaps and what they're all about. In the United States, 25% of us, that's a fourth, that's one of every four people has a handicap of some sort. So there is a large community out there of gamers. Now there are plenty of gaming streams on Twitch, but I didn't find a single one that wasn't marked mature audiences only. I wanted to create a live stream that is only for people who don't want to see bad language and who want to talk about handicaps, and that includes children. So I am making a kid-friendly space on the internet for disabled gamers who are children. But it's also a safe place for everybody to gather and talk about disabilities. So. I am on Twitch Monday through Saturday, 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am also on Discord during the hours that I am broadcasting, and that will be a kid-friendly place. And it's up now. You're welcome to sign up on Discord.com, and I am... Let me look it up. I need to put it on my banner. Um, Adia Man number 3641 is my user account on Discord. So that's where you can gather and talk. And I have a few rules you got to agree to. Basically, no profanity, no bedroom talk, no bathroom talk, and be careful about things that are upsetting to young children. Um, and I have a caution about gender identity talk. As long as you're not talking about what you do in the bedroom, it's okay. I want this to be a safe place for people with gender identity issues. I just don't want to have talk about that in front of children. Um, I want it to concentrate on the aspects of bullying and exclusion and not being able to find a restroom that's appropriate for you and fears about you. You know, that's okay to talk about. I just don't want specifics about matters that are best left to parents to tell their children about. So I have to be careful because it's a kid-friendly channel. But it's okay to have a gender identity problem. I am not against you, okay? I believe that everybody should have human rights. I believe that children in school should have human rights. They should have a full 30 minutes to eat. And I think it should be an hour. I think there should be a social aspect to lunch. I think that it's very important for kids to get that social outlet. I think it's barbaric that some schools only allow children 15 minutes to gobble their food. And look at the obesity problem in the United States. It's exploded, and I blame the public schools. This is not right. OSHA requires that you have a 30-minute lunch break. It can be unpaid, and you have a 15-minute break every four hours of work. Well, I think that should be doubled for kids, so I think they should get an hour for lunch. They should be able to eat outside if they want to. 
They should be able to socialize with their friends. They should have a break, plenty of time to eat, and a little time to socialize. I don't think it's healthy the way that public schools are doing this. And I think that they should get a 15-minute break every two hours. So, you know, what I say is not going to make a hill of beans worth of difference. But Granny Handicap believes in rights for everybody. Okay, so my live stream is going to be a safe place for a community to gather. No bad language and no... Um, bathroom talk and no bedroom talk. Be careful with hospital talk. I don't, my daughter, when she was five years old in public school, there were a couple of boys that would discuss R rated movies. She would have nightmares from that. So we got to be careful about how we talk on my channel. I don't want anything gross, shocking, um, I had a daughter that wouldn't eat rice because of something a boy said at school. And this was forever. That meant I loved going to Chinese restaurants. That was gone because she would not touch it. So please don't compare food to anything live and squiggly. And we'll be good here. Okay. So, um... Then the last rule was about careful about boyfriends and girlfriends. I know that if you're in a relationship, there's a lot of stuff to discuss there, but please don't discuss what you do behind closed doors. It is better for kids not to, you know, talk about mushy love stuff because they're not interested. So um, we have to make this a safe place for all ages. So you teenagers that might join me, I want to hear about your struggles. But please leave off anything passionate because of children. We want to protect children from that sort of thing here. That's my take on it. I am 62 years old. I'm a bit old-fashioned, as you can tell, but I'm like your granny. If your granny has passed away, I can be your second granny or your third granny. So I want this to be a safe place for kids to gather. I want it to be a safe place for adults like people in my church. I belong to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Some people call us Mormons. We are not the Mormons that believe in polygamy and have all the sexual abuse going on. Let me make that clear. We are the main Mormon church, and we abandoned polygamy when there was no need for it. The original reason for having more than one wife was Ms. So-and-so, her husband would die, and there was no law to protect her from her property being taken. So the bishop would call in one of the young men and say, All right, I know you're already married, but widow so-and-so just lost her husband, and she needs to be able to hold on to her farm so she, won't, she and the kids won't starve. So that was the reason behind having multiple marriages. When Utah became a state in the late 1800s, that was abandoned as a condition of statehood, but also, at the same time, a law, a federal law, went into effect to allow widows to keep their belongings. So there was no need for it. So we abandoned it. The so-called Reformed Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints kept on with the polygamy because they didn't want to give it up. And I am not going to get into that. If you're a member of the Reformed Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, you are also welcome here. But I just wanted to explain that this is not a place to discuss religion. Religion and politics are very 
you know, volatile subjects, we're going to not have controversy on this channel. If you want to know how I feel about things, you can read my Twitter feed under Dana Stories. But here, Granny Handicap is my label for my E for Everyone, kid-friendly, safe place. So we're not going to be talking about controversial issues. We're going to be talking about whatever game I'm playing and how my handicaps relate to that. And I'm wanting to hear from other people, how do your handicaps interfere with your gaming? So I want to create a community here, a safe place where we're not getting into heated discussions about controversial things. We're just coming together, all friendly and nice, and talking about handicaps, whether you are handicapped or aren't handicapped. If you want to know more about what handicapped people go through, then hopefully you can join the discussion on my stream and say, I don't get this. I don't get all this handicapped rights stuff. And so we can talk about that. But it's got to be a civil discussion, and it's got to be everybody coming together, not coming in and having conflict. So that's what my channel is all about. This is a test stream to test my software, but it's also a good chance to explain what my channel is all about. So this is not my regular live stream. This is just me talking to you and saying if you want this community that I am, right now it's in my head because I'm a new live streamer, but I want to create this community of people coming together and promoting understanding of handicapped people. So that's what my channel is all about. And hopefully this time I will get video on my live stream. So now I need to go to YouTube and check that. So until then, this is Anna wearing her little red hat here. <laughs> and I will hopefully see you tonight at 8 o'clock. Bye. Now I'm ending the live stream on Twitch.